Okay, good afternoon, and uh, whatever you are, whatever thing the fang is doing this afternoon, and I uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, based on your locations. I like to say whatever you want. Welcome to this wonderful uh, live broadcast. I like to appreciate you, of course, for joining this wonderful conversation here. I. We are here in Kakatai, Mangibi County, from Kakatai, Mangibi County, Liberia. My name is Maurice Brooks Zegze. I'm here with uh, two uh, distinct personalities here uh, from the Christian Association of the Blind, Mangibi County branch. And uh, the two individuals have been, uh, been out of the that particular compound of the Christian Association of the Blind. Uh, for the past one month, I call into them. Uh, that area, uh, since they were constructed during the administration of President Ellen Johnson Salif, the house is on a serious deplorable condition in their place. So uh, currently, they are not uh, there. According to them, they have been just sleeping uh, around. Uh, people have been feeding for them to sleep with them, but uh, they, uh, they are seeking for assistance, uh, if at least a whole rent, so they can be able to have their own place so they can lay their heads. Um, since the, the deplorable condition of that building, the former president Kenya promised them and that they could get 25,000 of a uh, US dollar since then that money was not given and uh, they was not able of course to uh, 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 to get that money for the rehabilitation of that hall uh, so because of that they they have to leave they got different different segment of people they have group of 77 and the Christian Association of the Blind they have different different compounds so those compounds was was a Omeko Impact project and our Omeko Impact project sent uh, 2007 8 up to present, uh, the hall is actually is leaking currently as we speak to you. So they are out, they are no longer there. It's, 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 uh, all of their schools they used to normally go to is, is, is no longer working. Uh, we paid a visit there before and did an interview uh, for that terrible house con uh, condition from the, from the president himself that is there, Mr. Moses Bakala. So they are here, they are asking for assistance uh, uh, so that they can be able to have a place at least to lay their heads. I just bought with them today and uh, we are here. So we, we will begin with, I have Moses uh, Collie here and I also have, uh, I have Moses Collie and have uh, Roman's uh, Massacre, both of them are here from the Christian Association of the Blind. So we'll begin with Moses. Um, Moses, how are you, sir? Yeah, hello, hello. Um, long time, Chief. Yeah, we've well, uh, we'll been around. We've got the uh, people we are building now. We just also ready. Sometimes I can be wishing to see, but I thank God today. I hear you talking. So thank God for you. Okay, um, tell us exactly your story. Oh, brother, the story is just the same story called the building. If you are, if you are just said it. Building are on a terrible condition now. There's no even way for any rain can kind of know. So we just out now. We hanging around asking other people to help us. And now we stay on this side. That's the person say, "Oh my brother, I can't do it." So now as we, we put on a lamp, we appealing to everybody that up there at this morning hour on us. We appealing to them for renting. At least they can come for our ill because now we are not no longer in our building. Now the area is not leaking and we don't in a building again. So we asking for help that the Mokan help us with rent it, that we are able to pay our whole rent it, so we can find area to be sleeping. So uh, basically, uh, 
when you left from that particular uh, uh, building? Well, I left from there, from January. Let's say January. Uh, January. So uh, the President came uh, some years ago, some, uh, uh, that was uh, President Weir. He came and promised you people and said, hey, we're giving you money uh, for them to do some work with you. What have you with that money? Well, that money, we only hear that money, but as for me, I say, I don't lay out that money. I say, yeah, but yeah, up to now. I'm sitting today, that money I'll depend on. I say, if that money will come, in, come I have the privilege as soon as I find area to be renting, at least I can be carrying my son tuition inside, but nothing up to now today. today. So, nothing there? Nothing. So, we're on a different government, and uh, uh, are they, uh, uh, were, were you able to tell, or your, your president are here, were you able to talk to the current president that um, your area is actually leaking, or they want to, like, be able to, to do? Uh, 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 re the renovation of your building? Send the comments that I know way. Nobody has come to that area except to get our human self view there. So all of you now currently uh, 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 everybody is uh, looking for the area. Uh, call, we are having someone can help on that today tomorrow. So, Amen. so how you manage it currently? Uh, uh, in, the, in the lamb or the food building and the sleeping area, and one of the major things that in Kakatayana as a disabled person, you don't work in. So just tell me, when someone has visually impaired, no way for you, then be hard to sustain itself, that will find food they have. So all those conditions they go through it, but we just depend on God to help uh, us, our brethren that are up there, that honor our friends, so they can come and help them out. So in terms of uh, 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 eating, me they let us go for the eating because uh, somebody can help you. They say, oh, uh, uh, my man Moses can't sleep here today. Oh. Uh, uh, but how about the issue of food? Because food be there not easy. Mr. says they say you know in Liberia, someone will tell you say I will help you for the one, but the one you will be responsible for yourself. So the person will tell you say come sleep here today. So if you can't sleep, you will be responsible to come sleep. If you don't have food, then it means that you're not going to sleep, that you will sleep like that because the person will not take the two responsibility for your one. God, now the person is uh, happy with lodging, you will not say, I got food or you have a children in there. So it means that when the person is happy for lodging, then I mean the food being One of the food aspects, I say sometimes take and pray, we can eat. Because we don't have anybody to help us. So I just have a living, going, going. Yeah. So uh, um, you have children? I have my son going to school now. I talk about the community wire, but no wire fee. The school fee said no way to get school fee. So that one of the things again, sometimes when I lay now, I can sleep good, sir. But I'm my son being there. So uh, currently, you put now in the house, uh, uh, and you're now to the area where the government fees for your area, the Aku Impact Project government fees for your, for the Christian Association of the Blind, the Group of 77. Uh, so how are you managing the street? Since you left, since January. Well, since I left January, so now I go on the street to big people. Maybe I get my daily bread to go in five or ten hours. Other people help me on it. I buy food, I go. But that one will not be able to satisfy me. But really, I need a help up there that people can come for a rescue. I'll be able to do my own thing when I get my rent. I'll be able to sell one or two things at least. Tomorrow I can be, I can move on the street. But it will not be like today. I move and I go somewhere, help me tomorrow again. I go, no. So Moses is uh, is from the Christian Association of the Blind. Followers will let us say whatever you want. Thank you for joining this platform. This is across Africa Media Network. We have uh, two uh, 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 individuals here from the Christian Association of the Blind. Like I said, uh, they are, they are, uh, there was a co impact project that was being built by Omeo at the time. Omeo co impact project. Uh, that building is currently under a deplorable condition and uh, so uh, the entire uh, Christian Association of Blind are currently as we speak they are, they are uh, some of them uh, some family fair for them to stalk them and some of them of course uh, they are in the street and uh, uh, they are asking for government intervention they are asking, they are asking for good ways gesture to see how what it, uh, what it can be able to help them so we have two other person here today go to Masako. Masako, how are you welcome Uh, how long you been out of uh, that, 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 uh, where you people were? Yes, you and you can't, let me just say, 
Yeah, January, they're going to January. They, they, they build it being, you know, it's one of the incredible conditions. Even where we sleep, uh, even the toilet right now, yeah. we don't even have place to even toilet. Even those that are on the campus right now, yeah. there is no means because we have a lot of rooms. And some of the rooms, they're on the incredible condition. And some of, some of the people there right now, our, our hair is there, but we are being just out seeking for place to sleep or there is no place for us. So in terms of uh, 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 lodging place, how you put them managing? Uh, Send your left a uh, long time. Yes, uh, some of our friends, because we have our friend, and uh, uh, we and them were together and then we grew up. Some of them have place and then they just manage with us. As, uh, we ask them, oh brother, and due to our Lena place, we want you to help us in the process so that we can find place and someone will help us right now. I think the brother helped me uh, with him, but the wife sometimes complains, so I find it difficult. So, uh, um, Romans, let's think about, let's talk about the food issue. Because Liberia now, uh, the rice price continue to escalate, the process of things more, especially the rice now. Some places are uh, 4,500, some places are uh, 5,000, uh, 3,500. Uh, so how you manage in terms of food? Yeah, when it comes to the food aspects, that, that is one of the major, major things on our agenda. Because when you will find place to sleep, but we don't, if you don't eat, you will not even sleep in peace. So we just on the street asking people, Every time we go to humanitarian, but they don't even help us with something that will help to sustain us. They only help us maybe two, three cups, and then we just go and eat and sleep. So we don't want to be on it over and over. So let's think about, uh, let's talk about uh, uh, the time the president came. The 23,000, uh, I think 25,000 the president spoke about. Three. Uh, okay, 23,000 the president spoke about, seem to be correct. Uh, to re to do some work at your center, uh, to also do some uh, uh, renovation, uh, providing food. Uh, you do you receive that money? When it comes to the president money, I don't really speak to that because I don't really focus on politi politician money business because the money business I don't really speak to that. Yeah. So do, 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 that particular money was for enough for one person, but was for the Christian and the brand. That was the pronouncement that he made. We journalists who were there. Yeah, well, well, the money, I can just say yes, the money came, but we don't know the money even did because you know the money was politicized. Mm. Yeah, because it came the political, and the media is a political, uh, political CZ. Mm. So it was politicized, and then the money was just hair scatter. So no here and there. Yeah. So currently now, uh, <clears throat> what are you doing? Yeah, I'm in school. I'm a student um, in Congora, in the Navarre. In the Navarre? Yeah. And then, uh, how are you managing with the school? The school, uh, I only ask churches sometimes, Sunday I go to church, and then people raise money. I ask the pastor, they raise money, and then I keep that money. Sometimes I put 200, 400 on my thing, and then do mini business. And then to just sustain myself in the school, that's all. Uh, but I'm paying 17,000 right now in Congo. Right now, I don't even pay half of my school fees. And then, even worse, I'll be doing my work, but no way. So, I'm you, you, anything. so, um, the, 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 there was a school at your center uh, at the time. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a school there. So, Congo, currently, they have the Christian Association of the Blind School there. The Blind School? No, let me just let it be easy of uh, the school of the blind. And in 2017, I left because when you are blind, mm. you don't just go to integrated school. Yeah. So you will go to the blind school. Yeah. And then the blind, the blind school stopped the surgery, right? Mm. So I went to Monobia. I managed it. People helped me through my coordinator. I went there. And then I started to go to school 2017, 18. I learned how to read and write. 2019, 2020, I graduated from there. So when you graduate, they can integrate you in the mainstream school. Okay. Yeah, so currently I'm in the mainstream school. I'm not part of the blind school now. I'm okay, in the mainstream school. Yeah. So how do you understand the mainstream school? Because sometimes I get, <laughs> get confused, yeah. Yeah, when it comes to the mainstream school, I have, uh, we, 
when you are to the blunt center, you learn how to tap on the computer. Okay. You learn how to tap on the tap reader. Yeah, to just access your note, to access the communication between you and your instructor when you are in the mainstream school. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you enter in the mainstream school, mm -hmm. I do my note and uh, with dictation, and my instructor maybe tell me, like when we're taking note, he read and then I write in my own understanding. So after doing the brewing, when you come to the test aspect, and then you print out the test. When you print out the test and then read the questions and then I tap it. But right now I don't have any computer, so I just do dictation. No dictation you're doing now. Yeah. So when the, when the, when the professor when the teacher happened to come in the class, you do dictation for you. Yeah. And then you, you then you take I it. I write. You write. Yeah. So um, currently you are in Congoro uh, in the ninth grade. Yeah. You you going for what? Uh, wire this year, right? Yeah, yeah. But okay. I I never pay my wife here. Yeah. You have not paid your wife here. Yeah. Uh, but but you are prepared to go for Wayaki with, with, with the regular people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know how you're going to do your own the paper uh, because uh, 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 you, you're not seeing the paper. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not seeing the paper. But if they, they get a questionnaire to me, uh, uh, they have someone that maybe the the plotter. Yeah, the plotter. Yeah, he will come and then read my questions and then I answer. A, the, I have a typing machine mm -hmm. to understand. Yeah, uh, we are actually helping to understand as to how uh, the, the, those living with disability can be able to uh, to do national exam. Uh, so uh, uh, um, currently now, is somebody who is watching you, uh, who is looking at you guys and wanting to say, oh, I want to help uh, the two individuals. Uh, pr precisely, what could be your priorities? Uh, my priority right now is the rentage okay. and then our full aspect. If someone can help us with even one year rentage and then and then maybe every month maybe send or fifty dollars someone will help us we can sustain ourselves or even help our business because we can do business as well. What type of business you can do? Right now I do transfer business more mobile money. So when I come and over, you already call, you already send me money now. I can send you money too. <laughs> and you're not seeing the place, so how you uh, be sending the money now? Uh, oh, you know the code. Okay. So they only leave with me to dial the code and then put your number in. Mm. When I ten money, I know the ten money code and then do the transfer. We have a lot of street boys and uh, uh, some of us are not good. Uh, when we you you ask for fifty dollar money and. Uh, I get you ask I ask for fifty dollars, then I decide to give you uh, ten dollars or twenty dollars. How do you know? How do you know mm -hmm. that? Yeah, basically I don't sell on the street, like passing on the street, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe like I have for uh, my brother shop, then I will just go and pull my finger from right to the shop and then be breaking there. Yes, so he oh, will be he will be able to help uh, help me in the process. Okay. So when I come back, I tell you how much is this? We'll pour the money into me because we have our brother on the street too, selling. Different, different market, so we can beg them and then sit side and market for their table. All right. Yeah. So this on the uh, across Africa media network. I would like to say good evening and, uh, and good afternoon, good morning, whatever you are. I like to, of course, appreciate all of you for joining this conversation here uh, on this day. We are talking to uh, two. Uh, individuals, of course, from the Christian Association of the Blind, uh, Brother Roman, uh, Masakoi, and Moses Kali. The both of them, I, I actually seeking for an assistant, uh, more especially in the areas of their rent. They have been out for a couple of months now, I, out of the building. And that building was, like I said, was constructed by the uh, um, Omeo Koi Impact Project. At the time, Omeo spent 12 years uh, doing the presidency of uh, Madame Ellen Johnson to leave. And that was a Koi Impact Project. That was in the first time of Ellen Johnson City. Since then, uh, uh, no one has told of the Christian Association of Blind in terms of uh, providing um assistant for them there uh, because the thing is uh, 12 years another six years you just you just name it uh, that that have been a very long year now 
I've been a very long year. So uh, the horse is actually down. Uh, majority of them have flee from the place. Some of them are in the street. And uh, across Africa, just caught up with the two uh, individuals today. So we are talking to them this afternoon. Uh, so their priorities is they are asking for the horse rent, a uh, humanitarian organization, whatever the view will be, you can help us to share it, whatever will go. So of course, uh, uh, those humanitarians who will think about this interview you can be what to assist them here um, through this media and across Africa media network. Uh, so uh, Moses, uh, is there another thing you want to talk about before we go? What? The only thing I want to talk about, what I was telling you concerning about our help and our food is very needed. I don't think all our agenda, none, none, that we see. So we think he said tonight, what are the brothers that are lodging on when he can't work? You're going to say. And the is in a style. Rinny is in a style. <laughs> so <laughs> where they need help. So that only the thing that they know, we need help now. Okay. Finally, from you, Chief. Yes, firstly, I was. Let us say thank you so much for helping us in this process and we hope and pray that uh, we see your success beyond the interview. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, finally for my end is that this rentage issue because as the, uh, for me, I in school, so it really, really worry me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't even go to school, I think even tomorrow because the place, my school, I, and then where I, I uh, found a place, a hmm. place too far. Even to walk in the morning to go to school is another process. So I really want somebody to help us. I found we made negotiation with Lily. Hmm. She have a horse, but she telling us uh, ten dollars every month. But then we told her that let the horse, let the room be here. Then we we'll, we'll look for someone to help us in the process. Okay. So thank God that we have found you, and everyone that listening, we pray that God will speak into their heart and will also help all in the process that will find a rest. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Your name again? My name is Romal Successful Master Kwali. Okay. And Moses Kwali. Moses Kwali. Yeah. Well, we're now talking to Moses Kwali. They are my friends uh, here in Liberia. Romal uh, Master Kwali and Moses Kwali. And I, I think uh, in December, of uh, I think last year December, mm -hmm. uh, no last before year December, before year. Uh, yeah that was in 2020, uh, 2022, 2022 uh, yeah yeah, <laughs> that was 2022. Uh, we spoke with uh, uh, we rumors were not part of that interview. I think we spoke with uh, 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 you Moses and that of uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Mo, and uh, <laughs> the CEO of the platform was there was to of course. Uh, that time we were on radio at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the same issue of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the president promised to give. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you very much for being there. I love all of you, but God loves you the best. We appreciate all of you for, of course, following across Africa Media Network. You can share our live video. I'm Maurice Brooks, a zigzag on behalf of the team in Liberia from Kakata, Mangibi County. <laughs>